All right, I'm going to show you how to thread a needle today. You're going to need your needle, which should be attached to your piece of felt to keep it safe so you don't lose it, a spool of thread, and a pair of scissors. Go ahead and take your needle off of the felt, and then you're going to cut your thread. You're going to always cut your thread the length of your wingspan, which is the length of both arms put together and then go ahead and cut it. A little tip, you can go ahead and cut it on an angle because then it will be easier to get it through the eye of the needle. The eye of the needle is the little hole on top of the needle. Go ahead and put one end of your thread through the eye of your needle and pull until you have both ends even. I like to grab both ends and then push my needle out so that I can get them to be even. If you cannot get your end of your thread through the eye of the needle, either go ahead and cut it again. You can lick it, which will help to hold the fibers together, or make sure you're holding it really close to the end. Now you're going to hold your needle in your dominant hand and the end of your thread in your non-dominant hand. We want to tie our, knee, our knot as far away from our needle as possible because then we have all of this thread to work with. What you're first going to do is you're going to create a duck beaks with your um, middle, index, and thumb. And you're going to grab the end of the fabric thread with that shape. You want to have a tail about three to four inches long and then you're going to wrap your thread around your two fingers. Your thumb is holding them in place. Then you're going to take your needle and you're going to poke your needle through or underneath your thread, which is in between both fingers. And you're going to do this three times. Make sure you're poking your needle through towards your fingertips. And then you're going to pull it tight, but don't let go. And on the third time, poke it through. You're going to wiggle your fingers out, pull your tail, and you should have a nice big knot. Go ahead and cut your tail off, leaving about a half an inch or so, and now you're ready to sew.